So the first time I started climbing, um, I absolutely loved it. I was 26. I walked into the gym. Um, there were dudes everywhere. I was like, yeah, sign me up. I'll do this. And then I tried climbing and it, I, I just, right away, I was hooked. What first attracted me to Titan um, was, I think, the question of whether I could do it, because the name sounds so huge and powerful, and, and then when you see the root itself, combined with seeing the root, the length of it, it's about 130 feet. Um, it's just, it seems so beautiful and remote, but also I knew I had maybe the basics basic skills to possibly do it, and it was that question of whether I could. My parents are from Mauritius, uh, which is an island off the east coast of South Africa. And um, so they moved here, um, and then my brothers and I were born in Hamilton, Ontario. We were the only brown kids in our school growing up. Um, for the most part, I didn't notice that I was different until I, I guess I was in grade two when I was teased for being brown, uh, called names by other kids, picked on. We were also kind of poor too. Um, I wore, often wore my brother's hand-me-downs, and uh, yeah, we were just poor. I don't know, I felt, I felt like an outsider. I felt shy, I was really shy, um, yeah. My parents had a really volatile relationship. There's a lot of verbal and physical abuse from my mom and my dad when I was a teenager. My life, I guess, will be trying to th thrive despite my upbringing. When it comes to my sister, I'm most proud of the fact that she doesn't need to look to other people to find the strength that she needs to be the best that she can be. Um, she has worked very hard to look inside of herself um, to find the strength that she needs to push, to push as hard as she can. We met in college. Um, yeah, we were taking a glass blowing course together at Sheridan College in Oakville, and um, yeah, we were just we were just in the same class. We we're friends for a couple of years, and it wasn't until I think second year that we started weightlifting together, actually, and um, just kind of got to know each other. And we we're actually friends for good friends for about a year before we started dating. Yeah, we go biking together, and I think we actually went rock climbing together too, actually, um, once before we were even dating. Yeah, just as friends. One of the things that Sabrina's overcome has been cancer. Um, she had a soft tissue sarcoma in her arm that she had removed, which they also had to take away part of her tricep, um, which for a while after was difficult for her to continue climbing. She had to build up that strength again and, and you know, really work hard towards uh, getting back to where she was. And um, yeah, it was something that, you know, if had gone unchecked, could have spread to her lungs and been really serious. Um, but she managed to take care of it in time and uh, yeah. Beautiful. Wow, you're amazing. Yeah. Stop petting me. Perfect. <laughs> 
I think uh, getting down to the red could be really good for your endurance. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, you're the right. Glasses? Yeah, might just give you what you need to kind of push you over the limit to okay. descend maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a different sort of endurance to Titan. Like it's a little more sustained, obviously, than Titan where it's like short bursts. But I think all of it helps for sure. And even just like getting that confidence of like just flowing through the route, like in the red versus, you know, outside, like on Titan where it's, it's there's not as much flow. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got everything? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Got your shoes? Got it. Got your chalk? Yeah. Quick draws? <laughs> got your try hard? It's incredibly uncomfortable. And everything in me tells me not to do it. I mean, not everything, because I'm sitting here doing it. So I guess that's like the part of me that wants to fight and thrive and knows that in uncomfortable experiences and situations is where I can have the most growth. Um, but everything that I've been taught growing up has shaped in me the desire to not want to be noticed. Because to me, being noticed is equal to being hurt in some way. Because um, my parents were so volatile in their, like, in their tempers, you were always walking on eggshells and you never knew what you would get from them. So it was best to just like stay out of the way and not be noticed. That's what, I, that's what I learned attention means. Yep, Ecolore, please. So the importance of women like Sabrina accomplishing elite grades, for me, I think within the context of climbing, um, is to pave the way for the next generation of climbers. Right now, there's, there is a lot of climbers of color, but if you look in competitive climbing, if you look in youth climbing, representation is not there. And those stories get passed down. People, you know, people, kids have posters on their walls of athletes they like and their heroes and stuff. And that's what we need more of. We need posters of Sabrina Chapman in kids' rooms to get them psyched about climbing. And they can enter the sport if they want to do it and, um, and achieve great things. Sabrina Chapman. When I think of Sabrina, I think of someone who has dealt with a lot of challenges and has come through on the other side even more resilient. Um, she doesn't have the typical elite climber story. She didn't start climbing until she was 26 years old, which is pretty much unheard of in a sport where children as young as five compete in the youth leagues. So she hasn't had every advantage. She's never worked with a climbing coach. At the same time, 
When I think of Sabrina, I think of someone whose story just epitomizes resilience. Um, it's not just about climbing hard, but it's also about learning more about herself. It's about coming through challenges even stronger. Um, when I think of Sabrina, I think of the type of role model that I would have loved to have had as a young girl, as a young person of color myself. The thing I like, you know what I really like about coming here? Mm. Um, compared to like the project thing, like when I get on Titan, um, I feel like when I'm on that route, it's easy to forget because it's, it feels so hard for me. It's easy to forget that like I can actually rock climb. Like I'm a, I'm a good climber, mm. you know? Yeah. Because there's so much, not saying that the, there is an effort here to climb, but you can just get more volume and like build up your confidence. Like you can just like tick off grades pretty quickly if you stay within your like on site or like second go level. Yeah. And then it like boosts your comp, like with every send, it doesn't really matter the grade, but like every send, it's like, okay, I got through that hard section like on the fly really well. I like used all these skills that I've, I've been, you know, yeah. developing. So when I get on Titan, then it's like, I can remember back like, yeah, I'm falling on this, but I'm, st I'm still a good climber. Like I know how to rock climb. It's just that this is hard. Yeah. 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 I feel like we can get a lot of, a lot of volume up to sub maximal climbing here. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And just like something nice to look back on when I am, when things are hard on Titan, like, this does not define the kind of climber I am. You know, this is just a piece of like me trying to to grow and become better, but also climbing here is a piece of that too. Come on, Brina. You want to fall? Okay. The thing I like about being a climbing couple with Ryan, um, we respect and acknowledge each other's strengths. It then becomes kind of frustrating because when people don't know us and we show up at the Craig, he's always deferred to as the expert in things. They'll ask his opinion on things. Um, they'll assume that he's putting up quick draws for me on a route and seem kind of shocked when I like start putting draws on myself and going up. Um, yeah, I've had one, one instance where I was climbing, I was en route and Ryan was belaying, and some gentleman walked by and kept asking like, who we were, are you her coach? Are you guiding her? Like, he could not wrap around his head that we were just partners, and I was just, he had, Ryan had nothing to do with how strong or what I was doing on the wall, it was all me. Um, yeah, it gets old really quickly. I believe that Sabrina has the talent to be an elite climber. Um, and that in itself is really interesting to me and saying, okay, when you already have that, that first piece, what else? The feeling of going up higher and higher and like um, moving propelling myself upwards and feeling the pull on my arms and push of my feet. I, it was just, yeah, just loved it.
The path has not been easy. The reward is the possibility of inspiring other women of color. If they can see something in me that they relate to, then that is enough. My name is Sabrina Chapman. This is my story. So words for encouragement for Sabrina as she tackles the Titan project next year is just kick some ass. 